and it's now time for the hello mr president segment of the show it's a segment that's dedicated solely to you and issues you're facing within your community so if you have not yet done so please take out your phone and record an up to one minute video of any challenges or problems you have within your community send that video to us via the email on your screen that's hello mr president tv at gmail.com or the WhatsApp line 0550-585832. And every Wednesday, we'll play those videos and call on to policymakers to do the right thing. This week, we're, we're going to, all the way to Yendi in the Northern Region. The video we received is from Yendi in the Northern Region. Let's take a look at it. Yes, hello, Mr. President. My name is Isahaku Abdullahi uh, from Yendi. Uh, please, I did wish to raise a concern uh, with you that has to do with the ripping of uh, of um, Bambaya uh, Primary School in Yendi here. Uh, the school is just a few meters uh, away from the Yendi Municipal Assembly and then uh, the authorities uh, seems not to be doing anything about it. Um, due to this ripping of, uh, of this uh, school, I tell you, um, students cannot sit in the classroom to learn Teachers too cannot even uh, sit inside the classroom to even teach the words. The classrooms are not safe for uh, the, for our words and uh, the teachers themselves. So because of that, um, uh, the students are finding it so difficult to even go to school because um, this particular school serves communities like Malajari, uh, Kushegu, Bambaya, and even Yendi, um, uh, Yendi itself. Uh, so please, we need your aid. Uh, Mr. President, please come to our, our... So that's a video from Yendi in the Northern Region. And almost every week, we bring you videos of schools that are in a state that's not befitting for students to be in, especially to study. And I must admit that this specific school from Bangbaya community, I couldn't believe it when I received the video. And we're going to show you what the school looks like. I, I, I could not believe that human beings were actually studying in such an environment. I mean, there's absolutely nothing there. Uh, the building looks like it will collapse any moment. Uh, it, it's shocking that children are expected to study under such a condition. Even prisoners will not be put in, 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 in a space like that. And how are we expecting these kids to, to really absorb their education in an environment that says the exact opposite they don't have any chairs there they don't have proper windows they don't have proper ventilation they, they i mean simple thing like even painting the building so that it looks attractive to students that has not been done we have the resident who sent this video uh, isaku abdullah on the line we want to understand exactly how long this has been going on the number of students this school is supposed to serve and what authorities have at least attempted to do to solve this problem good morning isaku yeah good morning Martin. welcome to breakfast daily thank you so much for being with us can you tell us a bit more about this school Yes, so uh, good morning to uh, our cherished uh, viewers uh, across uh, the whole world. Uh, um, like you said earlier, uh, Bambaya uh, Presbyterian Primary and KG uh, was established in 1996. Um, this currently, uh, this school uh, has a number of um, 160 people, um, uh, five um, permanent teachers, um, and then one NACO um, staff. Um, like uh, like you said earlier, the school serves communities um, uh, within um, the uh, municipality, uh, communities like uh, Bambaya, uh, uh, Kunjawari, and uh, then the um, uh, like I said earlier. So um, uh, my information um, uh, uh, tells that um, this particular problem, um, it happened uh, almost uh, about three months ago. And then uh, my interaction with the headmaster this morning, um, the headmaster said uh, that he has tried to maybe um, organize his own um, uh, fund uh, just to uh, manage the school in the space. Uh, like, uh, like the video we showed earlier, um, in fact, when you enter inside the headmaster's office, the headmaster's office itself, um, I tell you, no human being would like to even sit in the classroom or maybe in the, uh, in the office, maybe, maybe, uh, maybe even enter there, uh, maybe even to pick something, um, like sitting uh, or maybe 
maybe uh, standing uh, behind and even to watch it. You might even say, oh, maybe um, the, the, uh, the building could even collapse any moment from now, um, uh, like you said earlier. So, um, like I said, the students are suffering, uh, the masters too are suffering uh, seriously. Right now, um, just a few, uh, a, a few minutes ago, it raining, really, and this morning when I went there, um, the, the students were preparing to write their end of um, their term examination, and then the rain came. So they have to just um, uh, stop the, the, the exam and then they run home. Because, uh, they cannot sit in the classroom, they cannot uh, stay in the school um, to even uh, write their end of um, term um, examination. Yes. How long has this problem been with the, with the community? So, like I said earlier, um, for almost more than three months now, um, for uh, more than three months now, um, the school have been battling with that, um, with that challenge. And uh, what have the authorities been saying about it? Have you attempted to get anyone's attention? Well, um, I attempt to, maybe to reach out to um, uh, the, 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 the authorities. Uh, well, I couldn't, uh, like myself, I went there yesterday and I couldn't meet, um, I couldn't meet them. Uh, so, but this morning when I had an interaction with them, uh, the headmaster already, um, he complained to Charlie that he has written so many letters uh, seeking for funds, uh, uh, maybe, uh, or authorities to come to their aid, but um, uh, it's fruit uh, or it's fruit for uh, that, yeah. So you are closer to the problem. Um, how, how do you feel? I mean, when you go to the school and you uh, see students studying under a tree, uh, what do they tell you? Because I can only imagine being that age, going to a school would not look attractive to me if I have to study in such an environment. In fact, uh, I must say that uh, people even take their work off the school or away from the school. Sometimes someone will bring the, um, the child uh, maybe to the school, maybe uh, just uh, and then looking at the, the structure or uh, maybe the, the atmosphere in which he's, uh, he's going to put his uh, or, or her walk into at the end period. No, he will just uh, retreat I mean, and take the water away. So most people, unless of course maybe uh, the other community, like I said, the Bambaya, the uh, the water and then the trouble. Those, those communities there, they don't have any other option than to just leave their ward in the But other communities, like when they take their ward there, um, they don't feel safe. Uh, like they feel their ward don't feel safe in that uh, particular school. So they just uh, prefer to take their ward home than maybe, uh, maybe um, leaving them in the school. So it's a, it's a big war into us, uh, most especially. So yeah. you've mentioned the headmaster, but what about the other teachers? What do they think about this? <laughs> so, uh, like I said earlier, the, the, the teachers themselves don't show, like they don't show coming to school. But when they come there, uh, sometimes the work too don't even show up. Sometimes, sometimes, um, um, or maybe like the numbers too don't even show up. Uh, but, uh, like I said earlier, currently um, uh, the headmaster has tried to maybe organize some PT, uh, maybe um, uh, funds. And so maybe uh, from his own um, common, um, uh, what do you call it, um, some, uh, that, that, that some funds that, uh, that the headmasters do receive. So he has uh, maybe money that with, uh, together with the PTA, they've contributed some, some, some small money, and then he has, uh, uh, has fixed some portion of the, uh, of the classroom. And then now the students can see that currently as I speak now, um, one of their cages, they cannot even sit there, they cannot even sit in the road, so that we, so that we converted to um, uh, a firewood, a firewood uh, uh, room or storage room, like, uh, like I speak now, currently. One of their cages, uh, uh, classroom, has been converted to a, a firewood store, but uh, the, the students cannot even uh, sit, uh, sit there and learn. So, so I know you mentioned this earlier, but what happens when it rains because when we are looking at this structure there's absolutely no way anyone can sit in the classroom in its current state and learn when it starts to rain so the moment um, clouds start gathering and then that means that uh, it's time for them to go home or even when they're in, uh, in the house and then maybe preparing to come to school and then they see that oh no, uh, clouds are gathering, uh, it's coming to rain, then that means that it's a holiday for, uh, for the school. The master school cannot even show about when they come, um, even the headmaster's office, um, they, cannot, uh, they cannot sit there uh, to, 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 maybe, um, to, maybe just to, uh, to shelter themselves there. All the school, like the classroom falls, no one cannot, like, like no one can sit there. 
on no one can speak short there. So it's not just like it's not just uh, for uh, the students and the headmaster. So sometimes, like I said earlier, when it comes to rain, there, then there's a holiday for the school. Or maybe when, uh, or when it comes to rain, then that automatically the school just have to close and then maybe the work uh, will go home. How, how, how do you, because for, for me, these are children that we're expecting to do well in their primary classes, do well with their, in their BC, to go on to really great secondary schools and hopefully university. If they are starting their education this way, what would the future look like for them? <laughs> so that means that... Uh so, this, so, uh, so that means that there's no future for them, uh, like I said earlier. So uh, looking at even the current pictures we are showing, that was just this morning. Currently, um, they, are, they, are, they, are, they, are, they are were seated uh, under the trees to write the um, end of the uh, 10th uh, examination. And then it just, it just rained. And then, you know, they just have to call the uh, examination off, or maybe the end of the uh, 10th uh, examination off. You know, that there's no future for them. So, in fact, I'm just uh, calling on the authorities uh, to uh, step in and then help uh, control this program for us. Thank you. Um, any last words for us? I just want to know how many students this school is supposed to serve because we'll talk to your MC next. Yes, so um, I would like to also uh, so I would like to use this opportunity to appeal to uh, our leaders, um, our, our, our authorities, to come to this our um to this our children they are in um, they are suffering um the masters too are suffering um this particular condition is frustrating the masters um please um this this particular innocent children they need our support um let's help build their future uh inshallah uh, tomorrow um they will be coming or tomorrow they will be our future leaders um so please let's help see uh, the education of this particular world um, that's what I have to say. Yeah. Thank you very much, Isako, for being with us. We have the MC also on the line that we'll be talking to him. Um, but this is really sad. I mean, I, I, I don't know how children are expected to study in such a condition. When you look at the structure, there are no windows. Uh, some of the roofing sheets are off, which means that when it's, it's really, really hot outside, these kids are going to struggle to concentrate in classroom because they, they have to worry about the sun hitting them anytime it rains is a day off for the students and day off means that they are not learning the materials the way they should they are not gaining mastery of the basic principles of mathematics science uh, english and what that means is when it's time for them to take their final examination they won't be able to perform well what you're looking at right now is the um, headmaster's office right and there's nothing there i mean you don't see any proper chair proper tables how are the students supposed to engage this particular headmaster there are some books there they don't even look like books for primary school students and this is alarming because areas like yendi are are, are, are places where we should put most of our resources to because the children there are already at a disadvantage so we need to give them enough resources so that they can thrive academically be competitive enough to rise out of that community to go into some of the top secondary schools in the country and obviously go on to graduate from uni and be productive members of our, our country but if we fail them at this stage, if we fail them at the primary stage, then the future will be bleak for them. There's very little that can happen. It's, it's really sad seeing this this morning. Uh, we have the MC of END on the line with us, Al-Haji Abu Bakar Yusuf. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to Breakfast Daily. Thank you for being with us. Uh, thank you for having me. Yes, we are looking at a structure of the uh, Bambaya Presbyterian School. What do you know about it and what can you tell us about it? Yeah, I'm aware of the school, but it appears the reporter is refusing to think or is refusing to see what is happening there. So it's actually not from it's a reporter, it's, it's from a resident who sent us the video. If you look at the footage given you, I've seen the footage, you will see that you, if you are thinking and you are reasoning, you will see that work was being on at the time you came and took the pictures. You could see the on the wall. 
you could see some wood rockets on the ground, and you could see some new population on the ground. This tells you that some work was going on. But he reported that it appears the authorities are not uh, doing anything about it. And he mentioned that the school is just about a few meters away from the administration. Yes, it's true. But his office, before he gets the police, he will pass first the administration, pass the administration assembly before he gets to the school. These are the same policies that are authorities. The school belongs to Presby. If you wanted to know, you could have asked the authorities of Presby. You could have come to ask the authorities of this assembly. You could have asked the authorities of the uh, school. But because he just saw it and he refused to see, or he refused to think, he presented it as if nothing is happening. Mr. Yusuf, can time, you hear me? After the time he was Mr. there, Yusuf. what was going on? Mr. Yusuf, can you hear me? So, so you're live on TV. The video was actually sent by a resident of the community. It's not by a reporter. That is why I'm saying this school has been in existence since 1996. I'm talking about the resident. Yes. The resident is working at Dasma Radio. And Dasma Radio, from Dasma Radio to the school, he will pass Percy Mission. The school belongs to Percy Mission. He didn't find out from the authorities of Percy. He will pass assembly. He didn't find out from the uh, authorities of the assembly before he will get to the school. He went further to mention that Yendi, some, uh, some children from Yendi attend the school, that's the lie. Some children from Major attend the school, that's the lie. So I think next time he should do due diligence. Mr. 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 You see, he should find out. I have a few questions for you. Is this school currently operational or it's been closed down? Yes, yes, as, as we think, it has been removed. Sorry? As, as we see, it has been removed. It was in the process of being removed. That is the pictures. If you look at the pictures, you will see some work going on on this school. Are, are, students, you know are students still attending this school? They are, they are. Where are they staying as the building is being fixed? Uh -huh. if, if you want, if I ask, I'm you asking you this question now. Where listen, are the students staying as this listen, building is being fixed? Listen, if he asked, he would have known the bigger problem of the school. The school has a bigger problem that, that you are talking about. If you have time, I will tell you. Do I? Go ahead. Yeah. The school, we plan even a new structure just last year. But the school has no land because there have been encroachment on it. We realize that the chief of the community allocated the land to private development. So we wanted to give them a first school where we have funded from DIPA. We want the, the uh, chief wanted to re relocate the school altogether. But we have intervened, we have uh, reported to the Yana. It's recently that the Yana intervened and asked that further, the private development must be relocated and those already suggested this there should be put down. This is the person of which we have today. So if you were doing this diligence, you would have been able to know all this. Is. So, so it's unfortunate that he is not doing due diligence. Mr. Yusuf, we also received a video from the headmaster of this school. Are you also saying that the headmaster of the school did not do his due diligence? Find out, find out, yes, I'm saying so. Find out from the headmaster what I'm saying is true or not. Whether it's not true that we wanted to give a school and there was no the land, the land has been encroached upon. And the reason I came with uh, Yana Chiwati, to inform the school and the chief, the the uh, the coach, those people, those who are coaching the land must leave the place. So where are the students currently studying? As all yeah, this is happening, where are they? Down. Sorry. They are currently they are currently staying in those buildings. They are studying in these same there. buildings. Yes, the same building. Yes. So then the problem has not been solved. Not yet solved. That doesn't mean it's not going to be solved. Temporarily, temporarily, it has been removed for them to stay there. And, and how do you feel as an MC of an area, students 
studying under this condition, how are they supposed to get the quality education they need? Are you proud of it? I feel we should build a new school as we started to give them last year in the Federal Funds Plan. So as of now, we are looking for funding. We have even sent that school, that block. We have sent it, made a request, the GFEC Foundation, to come to their aid, if you get to know. And, and what has been the status on that? Pardon me? What has been the update on that? It, it's not the only school, it, it, a number of schools that we sent. So we haven't had a, a response yet. But we hope for a public and not only that place. Any time we get uh, uh, get funded, that's the other school. Look, that school was lit up on the same day with 15 other schools. Are you getting me? Go ahead, I'm listening. And that's what I'm saying. So out of the future school, I got now, uh, end of the school, the BTA. Approach us, say that if we are able to give them local sheets, they will help to make and reroute. We have provided that. And so, so far, five of them have been able to reroute. So, so it sounds to me as though the, the, your priority is just the roofing sheets. But when we are looking at this, this school, there are bigger problems. The roofing sheets is a problem. They don't have windows. They don't have proper chairs. They don't have um, proper desks. They, they don't roofing have enough temper. resources to even want to study in I'm this environment. Temper, I mean, the, the roofing is for temporary measures. Roofing is a temporary measure. Why we talk for, for a new block altogether? How is that going? Pardon me. How's the funding for the new blog going? Well, but, okay, that's that's fine. We we have the headmaster on the line, so we're going to drop your conversation now to hear from the headmaster because it sounds as though you are saying they are making things up. Good morning. Um, th is the headmaster on the line? Good morning. Okay, we'll try and get a hold of him to join the conversation so that we will know exactly what's happening with the school. Because on the one hand, the residents are saying this, we are looking at it. The headmaster himself is saying that this is the structure the kids are studying under. It's embarrassing. It's a disgrace to everyone who's in charge of that constituency, including the MC who's on the line. And the MC himself is saying that they've brought a roofing sheet on board. There's a funding issue that's happening with it. So we're going to get the headmaster on to hear his side of the story as well but if you're home and you're watching us how does this make you feel that you are in a country where students have to learn in this environment the hashtag is breakfast daily and the whatsapp line is 0550 good morning morning good morning thank you so much for being with us can you please thank update you. us on the structure of the school because the mc says that he's roofed your sheets for you and they are on the way to providing a, a more permanent block for this for the school well um we when i was posted here in 2018 i came and saw the whole building not in a good shape at all uh it, 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 the school is just by the roadside, and anybody who passes by the roadside will know it's likely not to realize that this is a school building. It, it, it is just not in a good shape at all. So I wrote to the assembly, drawing their attention of the nature of the school, the building. Uh, some few months back, there was no response. I reminded them. And in my reminder, I urged the MC to try and visit us to see the situation in which we were in. Very fortunately, one day we were just in a classroom studying when he came. So I conducted him around the school. And he also saw that our situation was very, very bad. Very, very bad, in fact. And he promised to do something. Okay, so has the, have the roofs been fixed? The roofs? Um, not, not yet. Okay, so we'll not bring you all back next week, Wednesday. We'll get videos from the MC, get your videos, because our viewers need to be updated on exactly what's happening with this school. Thank you so much for being with us for this edition of Breakfast Daily. We'll continue Thank this you. conversation next week, Wednesday. My name is Jifa Ekuya Ametam.